Something wild happened in my garden last season, so wild that I'm still shaking my head at how powerful it turned out to be. All I did was combine biochar with a homemade biological reactor, and the moment I added that mixture to my beds, my plants didn't just grow. They took off like they'd been waiting their whole lives for this boost. Leaves doubled in size, roots filled out like never before, and yields pushed far beyond anything I've seen in decades of gardening. If you've ever wondered what it truly looks like when soil biology fires on all cylinders, this is it. And today, on Crop Corner, I'm showing you exactly how to make this reactor charge biochar so you can experience the same transformation. Let's get straight into the heart of it, because this method is too good to water down. Raw biochar is famous for its microscopic labyrinth of pores, its long-term stability, and its ability to hold nutrients for decades. But what nobody tells you clearly enough is that raw biochar is basically empty. It's a dry sponge. The moment you add it to soil uncharged, it grabs moisture and nutrients for itself before offering anything back. That's why many gardeners notice a temporary drop in plant performance when using biochar straight out of the bag. The magic only begins when you fill those pores with life, nutrients, and carbon-rich chemistry. That's where the biological reactor comes in, and why the results are so dramatic. The real game-changer is the combination of molasses and aged manure. Molasses is the instant ignition source, pure biological fuel. It contains simple sugars that microbes devour, multiplying so quickly that within hours the biochar surface becomes coated with living colonies. Every pore that was once empty becomes filled with microscopic activity. These microbes generate organic acids and enzymes that increase the biochar's ability to hold nutrients while preparing it to act as a long-term microbial habitat. But molasses alone isn't enough. It needs a partner that brings the nutrients, minerals, and microbial diversity necessary to turn this into a genuine soil powerhouse. That partner is aged manure. Think of it as a fully stocked ecosystem seed bank. It carries nitrogen, phosphorus, beneficial fungi, trace minerals, moisture, and billions of microbes that know exactly how to break down organic matter into plant-ready forms. When you mix aged manure with molasses, you create a nutrient-dense biological soup that turns biochar into a living reactor. Once this mixture saturates the biochar, the transformation is fast and visible. The biochar darkens, becomes heavier, and sinks as its pores fill with life. What started as an inert carbon material becomes a living extension of your soil, capable of instantly boosting biology the moment it touches the ground. Here's the exact formula I use, tested and refined until the results became undeniable. Start with five gallons of crushed biochar, nothing larger than pea-sized pieces. In a clean container or barrel, mix one gallon of unsulfured blackstrap molasses with five gallons of aged manure. Add 15 gallons of dechlorinated water and stir thoroughly until the molasses is fully dissolved and the manure evenly blended. It should look a bit like thin chocolate milk, really. If your manure is dry, hydrate it first, using equal parts water, and let it soak for a few hours. Pour this mixture slowly over your biochar. In the beginning, the biochar will float because its pores are filled with air. Keep stirring every 30 minutes until the pieces begin sinking. You want the biochar fully submerged under liquid, so add a little more water if needed. Loosely cover the container 
so air can move freely. Let the mixture charge for at least two weeks, though. Honestly, four weeks leads to stronger results. Stir every few days to keep oxygen circulating through the system. You'll know it's ready when the biochar smells earthy, the water thickens with microbial life, and most pieces remain fully saturated. Drain the excess liquid, but don't rinse the biochar. That coating is packed with nutrients and microscopic life your soil will thrive on. Applying this activated biochar is where the magic unfolds in your garden. For new or depleted beds, mix one gallon of charged biochar into every ten square feet of soil, working it into the top six inches. This places the biochar right in the root zone, where it can immediately support growth. For established beds where you don't want to disturb roots, Top dress at half that rate and let rain, irrigation and soil organisms naturally draw it downward. Container gardens respond incredibly well too. Mix one part charged biochar with ten parts potting mix or sprinkle two to three tablespoons per gallon of soil across the surface. Within a week you'll notice the soil texture improving. It becomes darker, looser and warmer as microbial activity ramps up. Within two weeks, plants respond with a deeper green colour and thicker, stronger stems. By the third week, root systems expand dramatically, often 50 to 70 percent, beyond what you'd normally expect. Over time, you'll also see irrigation needs drop, fertiliser use decrease, and disease resistance improve as your soil biology becomes more balanced and powerful. Organic matter rises steadily, and the soil becomes something alive, something that supports your plants with far less input needed from you. This method doesn't just improve your gardening. It changes the way you think about soil. It makes you realize that the true power in a garden comes not from fertilizers or fancy amendments, but from creating the conditions where biology can thrive. By turning biochar into a living reactor, you give your soil exactly what it's been missing. Structure, nutrients, and microbial diversity working together in perfect harmony. If you're ready to take your garden to that next level and build soil that gets better every season, this supercharged biochar method is absolutely worth trying. And if you found this guide helpful, make sure you subscribe to Crop Corner and share this video with friends, growers, and anyone who loves watching plants break their own limits. Let's keep building thriving, living soil together.